So I wonder, you know, what leads human beings towards this power pyramid, right? Like what, why does this seem to be coming again and again, these power pyramids? Is it, is it a fear of, of, of needing something else to validate a person that I become important if I'm higher up uh, the pyramid? You mentioned the key word, and it's fear. Fear is the key word here. Uh, <clears throat> fear to lose power, as you said. Fear that there is not enough around for everybody that makes you greedy. Fear that others will get ahead of you that makes you... Uh, creates rivalry, uh, it's always fear. Uh, and the opposite of fear is trust. Trust in life, trust in life. And anxiety is something different from fear. Anxiety is unavoidable in life. Anxiety, the very word comes from angustia, from narrowness. When we are anxious, we feel uh, that our chest gets narrow, our throat gets narrow, everything gets narrow. Uh, that is unavoidable in life. We come into tight spots, as we call it in life. But then that is the moment when we need to decide, am I going to trust life and let it carry me through or am I going to fear? And that means I'm putting out my bristles and to say, no, 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 no. And I uh, uh, get stuck in the narrow spot. What should happen if I say, no, no, we get stuck. And this is so basic to life that we are even born into this life through a very narrow birth canal. and. Naturally, intuitively, we go through with it. But later on in life, we have to recover consciously the trust that we had sort of unconsciously as babies when we were born. And we are born many times in the course of life. And if we trust, we can even trust that our last moment, which will be a very anxious moment, we can't help that, will be a new birth. We don't know yet, we have no idea what it will be, but we trust. So trust is the only uh, attitude, trust in life is the only attitude that even makes life even Bearable, I would say. Mm. And our time suffers from the fact that it is fear ridden. And those in power, those in power of this, on top of this power pyramid, uh, want to make us more and more fearful. There are all these fear mongers are around. Uh, because when you're fearful, uh, you're docile. Anybody can lead you around by the nose when you're fearful. Mm. So not to fear. And in the Bible, this is many other books, I'm sure too, sacred books of the world, but uh, in the Bible at any rate, over and over again, we read, fear not, fear not. Never says, don't be anxious. That would be a very wrong translation. I've even found wrong translations like that. But uh, that doesn't isn't what it says. It says, fear not, even when you're very anxious. Fear not, go through the anxiety. I wonder if, you know, the capacity of the human mind is maybe what gets in between me and trusting 
right? Because my mind can think of so much is, is such a, a capable tool, right? That, that what I notice is that the human mind thinks that it knows, right? And, and, and forgets humility. And even though I know so much, I know such a small amount in what's right. And so if that's the truth, to me, recognizing that truth then leads me to trust and have faith and, and, and let go to what's unfolding. Yeah. But if, if life were not supporting us in millions of ways that we don't have never heard about, uh, simply our body, we couldn't survive for a minute. Uh, cells are constantly dying and reborn in our body. Uh, our breathing goes on, but automatically, our heartbeat goes on automatic, automatically, naturally. So we can't do anything. And that's also in the New Testament where Jesus says, you can't even add a little stretch to your life. Uh, why are you afraid? You know, trust, trust. And um, like the flowers of the field, they don't worry. <laughs> flowers don't worry. Animals don't worry. Why don't we worry? <laughs> One could almost uh, define the humans as the worrying animal. <laughs> <laughs> <Dear>. <laughs> 